What's up guys? Because Bay's here. Back in another here with another update. Basically it's not gonna be a how to beat or nothing. I just wanna give you a little rundown of what I'm doing today. My main mission today is to connect my bolt meter, which would be the one in my center console. Oh yeah, one thing I did forget to show y'all. I finally got the uh trim pieces painted, color matched. So y'all can see. It makes it look real nice. I mean this part already got if you've already seen the previous video. I try to get that piece, that piece in the bottom, and then later on, you'll see what I'm going to do with this. So, yeah, like I said, this this is the main thing I want to get connected today. Get the voltmeter going, make sure I'm watching my voltage and stuff like that, but we're going to get that today. And later on, we'll do the switches, but the main focus is the voltmeter. Alright, for those who have a fusion as well, um, I didn't ever show y'all, but if you look underneath, uh, let's get this light working. Underneath by the shaft, the drive shaft, you will see that's where I ran this, my wire. There's a little tab right there, if you can see that. You can run your power wire to the firewall and underneath the carpet and all that good stuff. But that's why I ran mine in case y'all wonder. I know I haven't made the video yet of show you how to wire up a system, but I will, it will come out. But basically what I'm gonna do is run my wire to there, to the battery, to the voltmeter. So let's do that. All right guys, I already cut the wires equally to match and length but since I am using the same color what I am going to do is um, put a, a heat shrink on one of them that way I can know the difference from positive and negative which I have right here this will also be in the, in the description if you guys are interested in buying some so basically slip, slide over it get your heat gun or a torch if you have like this heat it up That's it. I left a little extra on this so I can cut it off and put the terminal on top, and that'll be it. All right, let's get to work. All right, one thing I like to do before I even start the next step, I like to, how should we say, tangle the wires together. That way we can get both of them through at one time. And basically, what are you doing on that? Get your drill, tighten the two wires inside, hold it in place, and just turn it. And continue on. All right, next step, run the wire through. That way I can see it on the other side. And let's check up there. And it should be right where we put it through, which would be right there. Let's pull that wire through. All right, do the terminal on it, kind of heat shrink it. I know it's not the right size for it, but oh well. Screw it. Don't judge me. Alright, that's done. Let that cool down. Do the same for the uh, negative. And we're done. We're up here. Alright, we got the power wire through. Basically, we're running the same way where the RCA is at. I gotta fix that. It looks horrible. Run to the back side. Pull all this out. This is super dirty. Pull all this out and get to wiring the voltmeter. Everything's all wired up. Let's go ahead and test it out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if it focuses. 12.2. I haven't charged these batteries in the wall, so I need to do that. It should be resting around 13, 13 something. Anyway, let's turn that on. See if it actually... Late. Should be going up. Usually it's supposed to be around 14, 14, uh, 14, 3, 14, 4. I haven't charged these batteries and it's been, I've been banging the shit out of them. But that's basically it, guys. I just got to put everything back and then see how it comes out. I'm, I'm loving it though. Like I said, it has that on and off switch. When you do hook up the remote wire for the amps, you can turn it on and off, like so. So let's put everything back. All right, just put back together, as y'all can see. Looking nice. Still reading at 13.5. I don't know why, I gotta check that out, why that, that is. But I know my my system for sure is at 14.5. I checked on my own voltmeter and it works perfectly. Maybe 
something I gotta tweak in here or something like that. Or if not, then shit, I'm fucked. Anyways, let's see if it actually reads the voltmeter as far as whenever I start turning up the base. Put the base up here. And um, see if it actually works. So here we go. Yeah, it looks like it's doing its job. Now take it, like I said, with the other voltmeter I tried it, it's reading at 14.5, so let's take, you know, it's taking one off, so really the lowest I've seen right now was 12.9, 12.8, which really is 13.8. So as you can see how good my battery bank and stuff is. And like I said, I'm running 2500 watts RMS. And um, yeah, I mean, basically what it is, like I said, it, it does what I wanted it to do. And then uh, plus with the, with the car, since I had the lights off, I can actually match it. You know, once I get the other lights on, they're all gonna be the same color. So, a nice layout. I'm lo I'm loving it. Everything's good. And like I said, I'm, I'll figure that out. I guess when I do, then you know, I guess I'll let you guys know in the next update. But in that, then I mean, I'm pretty satisfied. You know, makes it look real nice. So, until next time, guys. Because base here signing out, and we'll see y'all later.